How's it going YouTubers, Cornwolf here. Thank you for joining me for another video today. And today we've got a, another update on the uh, the next bunch of cars that um, Turn 10 and Playground Games have released um, for Forza Horizon 2. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look. Uh, so first of all, um, I just want to quickly say that this is the first time I've looked at this, um, this set of set of cars apart from these first two um, just to see what was there um, but other than beyond this Ferrari that we're going to see in a second I haven't seen anything so it's a big surprise for me as well but first of all we've got the 1973 Ford Capri the RS3100 which is awesome um, proper classic um, uh, British car there um, the Ford Capri um, it says there that it's similar to the Mustang in America mm, not too sure um, I know the uh, the Capri was slightly different in the States um, but it's a it's a classic car uh, from for the UK point of view um, it's a pity that's not in Forza 5 because I'd love to take that for a spin in Forza 5 presumably it'd be a D or a C class car um, but I think it'd be pretty sweet um, there's a few famous TV shows and things that had these tazzing around uh, the streets of London and whatnot. Um, so that is that's pretty sweet. Uh, next up, we've got the Ford, uh, sorry, the Ford, the Ferrari uh, GT uh, Balentia Lusa, um, which is, looks pretty cool. Um, another Ferrari. Um, it looks a little bit like the the Dina, I think it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, next up, we've got the Bowler EX. RS, uh, which I think is some kind of a supercharging Land Rover, yeah. brand new partnership between Land Rover and the UK based rally raid manufacturer Bowler. So basically, it's a rally spec um, Land Rover. It looks a bit like an Evogue, or oh, it's a sport here. Uh, so it's, it's, it's one of the smaller ones, it's not a four door or five door one. Um, so that's pretty cool. Be quite good to see what that's like uh, rallied up. Um, next up, we've got the Aston Martin V12 Vagato, um, which is quite nice. I think this is one that's recently come to Forza 5 a um, couple of car packs ago. Um, so, yeah, it'd be quite nice to take that for a spin. That's just my phone going off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we've got the McLaren F1. Pretty standard. I think it's been in most Forza games uh, for the last couple of years at least. Um, so yeah, we've got that in there. Nothing else really to say about that. And then we've just got the the list of uh, um, cars here. Um, here are the remaining cars announced this week. Uh, in week five, bold indicates announced this already. Um, so the rest of the cars that have been announced today is the Audi TT RS Coupe, uh, Chevrolet Bel Air, Dodge Challenger STR. 8392, the Ferrari 250 GTO, Ford Escort RS Cosworth, uh, the Honda Civic Type R 2004 version, uh, the Hyundai Veloster Turbo, which sounds very bizarre when you've got that tuned up, the KTM Expo, and the Nissan Silvia Club KS. So I'm not sure what the difference is between the Nissan Silvia in um, Forza 5 at the minute and the Club KS or Club K's, um, but yeah so that's pretty cool so that's the the next lot of cars i don't think we've got many left to go looking at this uh what's there for the uh so we've got about 20 cars to go maybe um but it's pretty cool so i just thought i'd share that with you all really looking forward to having a blast around in this capri i think that'd be pretty good uh this uh land rover in a rally spec seems pretty sweet as well looks like it might come pre-tuned with um like a rally setup on it so that'll be pretty good. Um, so um, just a few more cars to go. We've got just over a month. Uh, we've got what five weeks um, from from when I'm I'm posting this video up. Um, so let me know if there's any cars you fancy in the comments below. Anything you're looking forward to? Anything you've seen on Gamescom? Quite a few bits of information have come out about it, or if at least we've seen it in progress. Uh, there is a little snippet of info that I did take from. Um, from Gamescom which I picked up on which was the fact that we are getting a demo so hopefully that will drop in the next couple of weeks which would be quite nice to get a bit of hype going and um, when it does drop uh, I'll be sure to uh, just put something up on the uh, on, my, on my channel uh, for you guys just to give you guys my opinion um, I very much doubt we'll be able to do any tuning or anything like that it'll just be a 
one or two cars or something like that we could take for a spin uh, but we'll see what it's like uh, so until next time don't forget to keep smashing that like button uh, sharing telling your friends and all that you tell a few friends they tell a few friends and this thing gets bigger than we know uh, but thank you for your support and if you don't fancy doing any of that just keep coming back and watching my videos uh, so thank you to you all and i shall see you in the next video